How's it going everyone? I'm the Blue Hill Kid and uh today Well, we'll let him tell you. What oh, are we doing? We're going hunting for squirrel and rabbit and we're gonna eat them. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. How long have we been out here waiting for the sun to come up? Uh for like twenty, maybe yeah, I think when twenty minutes. Twenty minutes? That's about right. That's about right. All right, well, we're going to get out here and get our jackets on and get ready to go, huh? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll be right back. All right, so we found us a spot out here, found us a log to be up against. <clears throat> we're going to sit here for a little while and uh, let's see if we can call in any squirrel, see if maybe any rabbit come by. Well, Jackson, yeah. how'd our morning go? Bad. Bad. We didn't see any squirrel or rabbit, did we? So that's why we're going to <coughs> we're going to another place that has bunnies and squirrels. Yep, we're going to try, ain't we? Mm -hmm. I'm not giving up. We're not giving up, are we? And I'm not going home until I find a bunny or a rabbit. I mean, I mean a bunny or a squirrel. All right. Well, look at the phone when you're talking, not at me. Can you say hello, YouTube? Hello, YouTube. <laughs> All right, so, as the boy said, we didn't see a rabbit or a squirrel out here at this spot, so we're going to go try another spot, ain't we? Mm -hmm. A and, place uh, that doesn't have horses or donkeys. Yeah, because there's horses and donkeys back here, if y'all can, I don't know if y'all can see them or not. Maybe not. Horses yeah. and donkeys back here. So we're going to go somewhere else uh, closer to home. We're about half an hour north of where we live, so we will be back. All right, so it's daylight. We've been hunting for about an hour, I think, and uh, haven't seen anything yet. We went up to a spot that I've not hunted before. It's uh, my uncle's property. And uh, when I farmed for him a couple years ago, I would bush hog out there in the summer and there's just rabbit and squirrel everywhere. It's about 32 degrees today. Uh, we're about half an hour north of where we live and when we got up this morning there was ice and snow covering the, the yard and the road and we get up here and there's not a lick of snow or ice around so uh, it just may be too cold I don't know we gotta get this off hot um, anywho we're gonna head back towards home and there's a couple other spots we can try there's a couple other spots we can try. See what we can do. Uh, just haven't had time to go hunting yet this year very much. We was going to try to coyote hunt this morning uh, with a couple buddies of mine. And uh, something came up and they couldn't go. So it was just me and the boy today, ain't it, boy? Mm -hmm. Yep. This is my oldest son's first hunting trip. And it uh, looks like my, my cousin just texted me. Might head back home and see if he wants to go take his oldest daughter. But uh, anyway, this is my boy's first uh, hunting e excursion. What do you think about your first time hunting, boy? Bad because we couldn't find anything. Bad because we couldn't find anything. Well, that's part of hunting sometimes, though. Sometimes you see stuff, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you just have to find something. You just gotta find something when you don't give up. Yep, we're not gonna give up, though, are we? That's right. Um, I may go back and see if Uncle Ned wants to go, huh? Uncle Ned? Uncle Jeremy. Oh! Uh, anywho, we're not done for the 
today. We're going to try a few other spots and see what we can't see what we can't find. I may uh, we may take a little break when we get back home. I may clean out my Jeep and uh, we may throw one of my dogs in the back, take him, see if they can find anything. Yeah, they, they can smell something. Yeah, they got good smellers, don't they? Iceman can tree them, don't you? I think you chase them up in the tree for us. Are you talking about when, when ice can climb trees? Well, ice can't climb trees, but he can chase squirrels. Anywho, um, this kind of brings me to the point. Um, I originally started this channel to be a uh, prepping survival type channel and kind of went by the wayside with the other videos I've been doing. But this is one thing uh, in a prepping and bug out scenario type mindset oh no uh in a prepping and bug out type scenario you don't want to rely solely on hunting because just like today me and my oldest boy gone out early before the sun rose and uh sat out for about an hour and didn't see a single thing you can trap you set your traps you're on your trap line that's why me, and they're working for you that's why We gotta set traps for coyotes. And why can we go? But anyway, uh, point being, you can go sit out for two or three days and not see a single thing hunting. You can set your traps and they're just waiting for something to come by. So that's why uh, a lot of people in the prepping community and the survivalist community are advocates of trapping. Um, and that don't mean just put supplies in your bag, trapping stuff, trapping wire, and, and a couple foothold traps and say so you're good. You need to be going out and practicing these skills because I can attest I've been trapping for three or four years now and when you start out trapping it is difficult I mean you don't know unless you got a good teacher and you're doing it like me doing it on my own trying to learn from watching a few YouTube videos and, and doing some research it's it's not an easy thing so I'm a big big advocate for going out and building your skills uh, building up your skill level and learning to do these things before you need to know how to do them so anyway that's enough talking we're going to uh, head back towards home and we are buddy we gotta go back home to do that because the other spots are at home